so <laughs> hi so today you are going to be watching my behind the scenes vlog for my la vida cover uh, i haven't done a behind the scenes before hopefully this is as entertaining and as exciting as the actual cover before we get on don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos that's cool too all right let's do this <laughs> Which is so basic. Um, I'm gonna try to cook them myself and try to cook for my family. And hopefully, I don't give them salmonella or some shit. <laughs> so, alright, so I have my salt and my, my garlic, my pepper, some eggs, and then some cheese for my eggs because personally, I like cheese. <laughs> the other dish. Salmon, crappy eggs, yes. I'll show you guys what I like to do with my eggs. No pun intended. So I totally forgot to um, put the cheese on top while I was frying it. I'll just put it on now. Hopefully it melts. Done. So I'm gonna do my makeup and my hair and my nails now. Um, the look is like gems other the eyes and then false lashes and then basically just kick it all on and then once i take this out my hair is going to be curly hopefully and then for my nails i have green you'll see later i have green fake nails that are a bit longer so it looks pretty when i do you know you know okay so i'm gonna just like get started Obviously, so I have this green tape to mark how far forward I can go. Um, 
as I was saying, I have this giant space, right? But up to where that green tape is, right there, is where I can dance between here and the tree. Because I'm obviously not going to go dance by the, by the vent. The, between this and, like, the tree line, that's all I can dance in. I have, so I can see myself, I discovered this new um, tricky trick. I can connect my phone to my computer and I can see myself, I can mirror myself so I can see if I'm going out of bounds anywhere, which is awesome. I really needed that. Um, and all around, I, I moved the uh, furniture <laughs> just a little bit. Um, so like, right now. So this is here's my accessory table where I keep my accessories and stuff. My lip balm, my lipstick, because it'll run out, my socks. Um, this is where I throw the accessories once I'm done with the outfit. And as for the outfit, um, they're all scattered around. Not really in order. Well, over here, it's kind of in order. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I have like, okay, I have nine changes. And yeah, just I have this little drawing book with some like the temp, the, what is it? The templates, stuff like this. And I just like um, draw my ideas off of my clothes. So, and this is like the order that they're gonna go in and like, which, um, part I'm gonna transition in stuff and I just put them I cut them out of the book oops and then oh yeah and then I put them in order basically so I'll just take out the order right now so I can like see it so this is my beginning part and stuff there's so many with all black I tried to stray from all black which is really hard because they do a lot in all black <laughs> um, I did some like sparkly ones and then I cop and I usually go um, in order of the song when I shoot. But the thing is, I'm missing the garters that I ordered for this outfit and this outfit. Um, they should be coming today, so I might actually go one, two, three, four, and then film the stuff with the garter last. Hopefully, the sun is still up and shining <laughs> by then, by the time the garters come today. And if not, I have. Um, I have other resources that I can make into gardens. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna get changed into the outfit number uno. Okay, I realized that I forgot to stretch. <laughs> Okay, so far we are done. Uh, we are just heading on to the second chorus. I had to, I'm in my first part outfit again because I had to start everything over because my camera kept shifting over here. But now I can gauge my camera position a little bit better. Gauge my camera position a little bit better. Sorry, let me speak slower. So yeah, I'm just gonna go outside for some air before I get into the latex pants for the second chorus. Cause so, the leather pants are already making me sweat a lot. And the latex pants are gonna be so much worse. So, yeah, see you on the flip side. We are at dance break. Well, no, I just finished dance break. We are at the bridge now. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm looking out to myself in the viewfinder. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm tired and I'm starving. Okay. Oh and my knees hurt. But I look good, so. Last one. Just gotta tie this. Last one. Shouldn't take too long. Yeah. Let's chew it. 
jacket. His jacket is crazy. But it looks good. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so something that's new to my editing process is putting in a transition. Usually my transitions are just like straight cuts like this. Um but I wanted to do something new. Um, some of them will stay straight cuts just because I like how this happened. I really like it. Um, other than that, for example, this transition is a new thing for me. So what I did was, um, okay, we'll go down here. I cut off a section. So say I'll extend this part, the part where I'm walking over to this side of the room. Yeah, and then I'll cut that out, cut it. And then I'll put it up here, which is what I did. <laughs> I'll put it up here and I'll like put it in between these two parts. And what I did was I went all the way up here and I made it a cutaway, put the opacity down just a little bit and then fade it about this much. It really depends on like what you're transitioning into. Um, but for me, I just liked a little bit, like I didn't want it to. As you can see when I play it, it'll like jump a little bit. Like I'll revert back into the old one still. And I, I don't want that too much. So if you don't want that too much, you just put the fade on just like a little bit. Um, without the fade, it would look like this. Um, which is almost kind of the exact same. <laughs> which is almost kind of the exact same thing. But the opacity is here. I'll show you the difference. If, if it's not opaque. Wait, no, what was it, what am I saying? If it's super opaque. Yeah. I might actually like that a little bit better. Oh my god. Okay. Um, we'll see. I'm still deciding some stuff. But that, that could be an idea for a transition. You could also just like go into like the actual transitions. And then just pick one. And even if you wanted to do like a comparison thing. You could do like a comparison dance. With like the actual dancer herself. So like if I'm doing like EU's part. And I wanted to actually compare her dance to mine. What am I saying? Yeah, I compare her dance to mine, I make it a split screen. And then you can like put um, a video of EU dancing and then me and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And another thing that's like kind of pretty important with um, doing covers is that making sure that the music is lined up. Cause see what I'll do here is uh, I'll put my original music that I danced to and compare it to the actual track. So if you listen pretty closely, you can hear kind of like an echo. And that means it's not lined up. And that means your moves, even though they do look lined up to the song, it's really not. And it'll like set you off. Okay, what I do is just like, I try to like, this might seem stupid, but like, I'll have the original audio up a lot and then I'll just turn this down sometimes. And if it sounds like the song is continuing the way it should be, then it's fine. Okay, so it is 7.42 and I have finished editing. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so I started at three, so it took me like four, over four hours to edit it. I think it's good. I added in some transitions this time, which I don't normally do. And I'm just, well, my friends really want to see it, so I'm sending it to like three of my friends. But that, otherwise, it's coming out on Friday on my Instagram, on my YouTube. If YouTube is up by then, because right now it's down. This is what I have, 17 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, this, this is on my media, all the different shots I took and the song I took off of a screen recording um, off my phone and then I changed it to an audio only version. It's just lyrics video on YouTube. And then I screen recorded it, so I got the audio and I turned it to an audio only MP3, whatever thing. And then these are all the shots I took. I have like a bunch of different ones. See like this ending one is 7.4 minutes long just because I did it so many freaking times. Uh, I like to do it like maybe six or seven times um, just because usually the first two or three don't end up good and then it's the instant the other four um, that I might find success in, stuff like that. Hoovers, more vlog things, talking things. Um, so I have it here and I lined up the audio to all my clips and then put in these funky little transition things I just learned how to do by myself well not by myself i looked up this video on youtube and then i didn't really watch all of it but i got the gist of it so oh i didn't even make the audio up that much oh well forgot to do that let's turn up the, the music a lot and then 
yeah, this is all of it. All the clips. Here's another example of a transition. Yeah, and then one of my favorite ones is this one. It's just a straight cut. It, yeah, I'm really proud of that. <laughs> um, what I'm really proud of this time with my cover is that I didn't move the camera too much. Um, the viewfinder really helped. And, I, you know, perseverance. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I look like a mess right now. The jewels are still on my face. But I had a pretty productive day um, with, like, filming and editing. Um, and I've been looking forward to doing this cover. And I'm looking forward to seeing what people think of it. Because I'm really proud of it. And it was a huge leap in a forward direction for me. Thank you so much for watching my Madira cover vlog. Um, subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Watch my other videos. Like them too. Support. Come back for more when I when I do become active again. Lately, I'm trying to be more active. And yeah, thank you so much. And see you in the the next one. Okay.